Hi guys, so first things first, if you hear clicking in the background, I apologize in advance. I'm drawing and I, I've been really busy lately, which is partly the reason for the lack of videos. But I figured since for this one it's just talking, I can just multitask. Um, I honestly w wish that I had like the, the hardware and the programs to record while I draw so I could le at least have videos where I just draw and I talk about whatever like this. But sadly I don't have that kind of stuff. So, there is like no, no visuals to this video, so you can just, you, you don't gotta watch it, you know, <laughs> with your eyes. You can just put it up and listen to it like a podcast, I guess, sort of. Um, but anyway, Sonic Revolution happened this past weekend. Um, at first it seemed like, well, at first, earlier this year, it seemed like it would be cancelled. But unlike, I think, other conventions, they decided to go full-on digital and just keep it going. I think it just got, like, delayed. I'm not sure when the original date for the con was supposed to be. But, um, silver lining in the whole situation, this was my first con, like, ever. Um, where I live, we don't get cons. Uh, I think recently we started having a game one, but it's not really developed all that much yet, in my opinion, but we never have, like, cons for, like, a, a specific fandom or franchise. So th this was, like, my first one that I quote-unquote went to, and it was pretty cool, like, um all the talks and stuff went on Discord and you could see stuff on Twitch and it was pretty cool um some people may know like you know I started this channel because they have anxiety so I wanted to deal with it so it, it, it was still kinda anxiety inducing to just join a server of like hundreds and hundreds of people but I went and did it anyway um it, it was it was pretty cool like there were a lot of voice actors there not not like official ones but just a lot of content creators and I got to like discover and follow some pretty cool artists. Some of them I'd heard of before, I just kept procrastinating with like checking them out and stuff because it, you know, basic anxiety and just procrastination and stuff. And um, Aaron Weber was there, which was pretty cool. I, I He, like, everybody's heard by now, but he left his um, what's it called, like, social media management position. He's still working within Sega, but he, um, left the social media handling to Katie, I think. Katie was also there, I'm pretty sure. Um, who else was there? Oh. Um, okay, so some of this might be incorrect because, um, a lot of these guests were on the first day, and on the first day I mostly hung out in the chats, and I didn't like go to any meet and greets and stuff, because I was too on too anxious, obviously. Um, I think like I think Evan Stanley was on there. Like there was an IDW panel, and Ian Flynn was there. Um, I think some of the the artists w were there as well, but I can't remember who. I think at some point people were saying that Spaz was there, but I, I 
couldn't like check everything was going by way too fast and I got pretty anxious so I kind of <laughs> took a mental break from from the con for a bit um what else got oh uh, Lee was there you know the the actor that played Agent Stone in the Sonic movie and there was like a raffle with a for a meet and greet that I think was happening on Skype. Like, most stuff was in Discord, but for, from what I heard, that was on Skype. One, one of my acquaintances actually won one of those raffles, which is pretty great. Great because I know that they uh, like love the actor, and they love Agent Stone, so I was pretty happy for them. I think there were some like merch raffles as well. That was pretty I didn't join one of those either again. Anxiety it was it was mostly for the first day, it was prison for the second day too, but like it it, it was my first con. Like come on. <laughs> Cut me some slack. Um people from the fandom like uh the wax and um yep and chakra X were there. Um, honestly, I mostly kind of joined in on the second day, because I, I actually had no idea that Sonic Revolution would be happening, and then my friend, like, linked in the, the Discord and was like, guys, like, this is happening, so I joined in, and I was pretty unprepared, and I was more mentally prepared for... A big server like that the next day and I actually joined in on some voice chats the next day not not any meet and greets just voice chats with people which is a pretty big deal for me I mean it's um, some of my friends was were there but none of them were in the voice chats so it was essentially like talking to completely new people I, Probably only like, was still fairly quiet compared to to others, but it's still a pretty big big deal for me. I mean, I I haven't even voice chatted with anyone and like not even friends for God I don't know like a year or more maybe. So it was a pretty b big deal for me, like a pretty big step. I'm glad that I didn't chicken out and that I wasn't like oh well I'm too anxious so I'm gonna pass it over like I really wanted to make the most of this and I think I did at least by my standards and me knowing myself as a person um on the second day there was also like a digital concert um with like fan remixes and stuff that was pretty cool like uh there was a really good more, I think, acoustic sounding um, cover of Dreams of an Absolution that I really liked. I'm really bad with names, so I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, like, I don't, I didn't remember the artists. I'm sorry. And also a fairy of the Aurora Icefield remix, or just Aurora Icefield. Which was pretty cool. I don't I don't often hear um, songs from Sonic the Fighters get the love that they deserve. Plus, Bark is one of my favorite characters, and that's his theme song. So it was pretty cool to to hear it. Mm, what else? It, with the convention in general. Honestly, I hope that even when we don't have a freaking plague happening, it, it will be pretty cool if cons like this that, well, obviously you have the cons that have free admission and then you have those that you need tickets for, but for these ones where it will be free admission, I think it would be cool that in the future that it does have a, a digital version of, of the con like happening at the same time that the you know 
when there's no freaking plague happening and the cons happening in person, in real life. It would be pretty cool if at the same time it was also happening digitally. I think obviously there there need to be more volunteer like staff that would be there in person and staff that would be there on like the Discord servers and Twitch and stuff. Um because let's be real, there's a lot of people that don't have like the funds to go to a con. Like I live all the way in Europe. I don't have like that. I think the con usually happens in California. Um, but either way, I don't. I don't have that. You know, America traveling money. I can't just fly over there and be like, oh, I'm here for a weekend and then I'm gonna go back home. Like I. Even other people that do live in America don't have the funds to, like, travel all the way to a con like this, so I think it opens up the opportunity for more people to meet up and connect and just have fun. Um, it doesn't take anything away from, like, the people that are there to have art booths because there was like a channel specifically for people that would want to buy comics like the Archie comics. Um, artists had virtual tables there like they, they had cha channels specific to like them where they were taking commissions or some of them were also selling physical merchandise that they were going to be shipping out as people ordered, well, not as people ordered, but they'd, like, write things down and, you know, sell physical goods that they would mail out later. So, like, there, there's still a profit for people, so it's not like, oh, but if it's online, there's people, you know, artists aren't going to be able to make a profit. Like, that wasn't an issue, I think. Um, what else? But, yeah, maybe it would be a bit hectic if you have, like, a physical table at the con to, like, if if your table is busy, it, it could get a bit hectic to, like, both pay attention to uh, the customers that you're meeting in person and the customers that are on your, like, virtual booth they're asking for commissions and stuff but I don't know I, I I think it will be good in the future like it, it opens up the opportunity for more fans to interact and stuff like it was amazing like I've never experienced that many Sonic fans like yeah you're on the internet and there's fandoms and the fandom is huge but this was like a gathering where you could actually see you know, just how many people are showing up just to appreciate this character and, and um, you know, get in contact with one another, and it was really cool. People in the voice chats were pretty cool, I think. Um, there was, like... Obviously, there, there were, like... I don't know, people that didn't really mesh well, but... Obviously, they could just step away from the situation like it was... People were pretty mature, in my opinion. Like, I, in the voice chat I was in, I... Like, there, there was this really good voice actor. Like, not an official one, to my knowledge. I think they said that they'd been in some fan projects. But, like, they were busting out voices like... A really good Eggman voice. A, an excellent... Mark Hamill's Joker impression just and it was also hilarious because <laughs> at one point the chat turned into Disney characters like Goofy was talking with Mickey and I think the same guy did just a spot on Donald Duck impression which was amazing like I'm I've been trying to learn how to do a Donald Duck impression and I'm not it's not very successful so far it's the only thing it's been successful at is killing my throat. But anyway, like, 
on the Twitch, there was also, like, a watch party for, um, Team Sonic Racing Overdrive and Sonic Mania Adventures. And I know some people were like, oh, we already know these things exist, why are we watching it? It's like, it doesn't have to be a premiere, it was, it was just fun to watch those, like, shorts with other people there. Um... Also, another pro of cons uh, being virtual is, well, gosh, we, we definitely need to find a better name for it, but, you know, uh, con plague, which is like, you know, one or two people will go to the con and, like, have a cold or something, and then when you get home, you're, you come back with, like, a cold or a fever, just, you get sick because some person went to the con sick. Not with the plague, not with COVID or anything, just, you know, a, a common cold or just a fever or something. Like, this is stuff that I've heard. Plus, there's no... Well, you know, there's always those people at cons that haven't showered in, like, two weeks and didn't shower before the con, and they were like, oh, I'll just spray myself with deodorant. It's gonna be fine. It's fine. Obviously, no pushing, no no crowds. Well, still virtual crowds, but nobody's pushing you around and stuff. So, I don't know. I really liked it. I'm I'm really. I think I was like on an emotional high for the next day because I was so like happy that I ran into like so many fans of Sonic. And it was a pretty cool con in general. So yeah, I, I hope there's something like this in the future. Like, even once we get out of this, this whole world pandemic thing. Because I think it's pretty good, but I've rambled about my thoughts enough. Um, today is Sonic's birthday, so we'll see if we get any announcements. We might. I know that there's a, a stream happening tomorrow, like the the like streams that they do from Japan. But those so far haven't had any like big announcements. They had the the new um, you know party music album. But, like, no games and stuff so far. But, I mean, it's Sonic's 29th birthday, so maybe we'll get something. I'm gonna eat cake today. <laughs> it was my uh, birthday, like, a week ago, and we still have cake, and that's usually my tradition. Like, I see leave some of my own cake to eat for Sonic's. And this year I have a lot of cake left over because obviously I didn't have guests come over, but I still wanted cake, you know. That's enough rambling, honestly. But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna make a video. If there's an announcement, it would. It if there is, it would be, depend on how big it is. Like if it's a big one, I'm probably gonna make a video. Um. But if not, yeah, like I, I said, I've been busy and I'm in the middle of drawing because I'm like, I don't have time to make things separately, like to separate time, time for drawing and a separate time for, um, god dang it, for, you know, making a video, which is why this will have no editing. Plus, I have no idea what to even put for editing for these rambly videos. It's different when I'm talking about comics, because obviously I have the visuals there to talk about. And like, even with the merch, I just have one photo because I'm really not sure what to put in there, but, you know, hey, I'm multitasking, you could multitask too, <laughs> by doing something else while listening to this, because there's nothing to look at. But... Anyway, I think, I think that's all my thoughts on what 
I hope for future cons because I really want to attend more. Obviously, I can't physically attend cons. It's it's also pretty good for people with disabilities and stuff. You know, it's it's not just the financial aspect. But yeah, I think that's the the last bit that I have to say and see you next time. Bye bye.